driving on the other side of this wall. This is the garden wall, our local name for this. Mount Gould is simply a thick part of the garden wall on this east side. From going to the Sun Road, it doesn't look any different from, from the rest of the wall. So Mount Gould's a big mountain. If you look down and to the right, the smaller mountain just in front of and to the right of Mount Gould is Angel Wing Mountain. You can kind of see that wing shape to it. Grinnell Glacier is completely tucked out of sight between Angel Wing and Mount Gould. So that's the final destination behind Angel Wing from this perspective. Now the big mass of snow that we can see used to be part of Grinnell Glacier, but it hasn't been for a very long time. This is Salamander Glacier, and it is still an active glacier. We're seeing last winter snow on the surface of the ice. The ice isn't visible yet. There is some of the ice, more of the ice visible on Grinnell right now when we see that. You'll figure out real quickly today that if you don't know the name of any feature, it's probably Grinnell, whatever. So that's Grinnell Falls at the head of the valley. And if you look at the top of Grinnell Falls and then look up and to the right, you'll see a patch of snow with evergreen trees silhouetted in front of it. So this small horizontal line of snow with conifers silhouetted in front of it. Those trees are our picnic area. That's the lunch area. So our trail will take us around the head of the lake and up the right side of this valley to the picnic area and then up and into the glacier basin itself. So do stay seated until we get the go-ahead. Ben has some things to do and quite a bit to talk to you about up here. But those of you who are going to join me on the guided hike, once we are released from the boat, we will gather over on the shore, on, or the beach on the right side up here.